Hello and welcome to the next video of our MQTT connection. This was the status of last video. We downloaded software here to this little device. Okay. So this tries now to connect to the MQTT server. First it tries to connect to the Wi-Fi. Then it tries to connect to the MQTT server. Since it currently does not know anything, not our Wi-Fi network, not nothing, right? It cannot connect. This is why those two LEDs, those two LEDs here are lit. I made this, this is, if they are not lit, everything is all right. So here we need attention, okay? So also this device now supports quite some commands, which are transferred to it via the, the serial interface. I've implemented simply some comments in this program. If you can read this program, you know which comments are inside there. I will also place a description of the program in the under the video, this link, this download link, so that you know which is. One basic thing is that this device shall shut up yeah? only notify us if we are getting some subscribe topic yeah? then it shall notify us and also if I tell something it shall pretty much say just okay yeah? but not too much information because it would simply it would simply be wasted yeah? however now that I do not know anything about this yeah? I would like to have some information, yeah? so some more, a little bit more feedback, yeah? not just okay, and I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah? This is why I implemented here uh, four different level of feedback, yeah? a verbose level. Yeah? So how how much is it telling me? Yeah? The four levels are error. Only error messages are displayed. Are come from the or acknowledge messages, yeah? error acknowledge messages, this is error level. Then there's a warning level, also warnings might be appearing on the serial interface. Then there is an information level, also information, additional information. There's a debug level, debug level simply means, yeah, a lot of stuff will come. Huh? So I can somehow scale the information. If I want to know how it's set right now, I just have to enter get verbose here. This is already one command which is supported by this program. Get verbose, you see, okay, it's just error. Yeah? So we start the warning now. Start warning. It does not really give something. Start info and start debug and now we can get you get the poser aha it took it so now it sh we should get a little bit more information of what we type in and if this command is recognized or not of course the third things we have to do is that we do want to connect to the wi-fi I have here my Wi-Fi network, in school we have a Wi-Fi network, and I'm pretty sure you have a Wi-Fi network at home as well. Okay, So, we have an SSID, yeah? and we do have a password. And those two things I can enter here. Yeah? Use my one. Yeah? We get OK feedback and I set the pass try to connect okay you see it's blinking the LED is blinking right now so we try to connect to to the password to do the and we're online yeah? so the one LED is off and we are online yeah? and we even get the message 
new MQTT client ID. Yeah? Each client needs to have an ID. Yeah? And this ID is generated out of the, out of the MAC address of this device. Yeah? To be unique. Yeah? Okay, so, so now we are connected to the Wi-Fi. Now we want to connect to our MQTT broker. There's a video of how we set it up. So you need to know the IP address of the MQTT broker, and you need to know uh, you need to know the, the password and the username, if applicable, of course. So we're going to to enter this. This is done by set host. This is now the IP address of the MQTT server, in my case. It's this. Huh? Connecting and now it knows, hey, there is a MQTT server on this and it's a, it already tries to connect yeah, to the MQTT server and writing Error connecting to MQTT broker, but, but, but reason code 5. There are several reason codes. This is directly coming up this boop sub client, yeah? and 5 means I'm not allowed to. Yeah? It's clear yeah? because I have to enter my, my username and my password. Yeah? Currently, I'm not permitted to use this MQTT broker. Okay? This is why I get this, this information. You see, does it no, no, it does not blink. Uh, maybe it blinks a little bit, but now we have to enter the, the username and the password. And this is simply done by set username. And we have done this. We have done this in our in a username file. Yeah? And the username was this. Doesn't really work. Yeah? And now we also have to set user pass. Connected. You see? I did it correct. And now, uh -huh, you see? Sometimes they are blinking. This is when it is communicating with the MQTT broker. Okay. Sometimes now it's communicating to the MQTT broker. We are online. Everything's fine. Perfect. MQTT ready. And now, now we would like to publish something. Okay. Now we want to, to, to publish a topic. Okay. How is this working? This, there are up to 50 properties. Uh, and I can set that I'm not always have to transfer from my Arduino the topic name and then the value. Yeah? I will simply transfer the topic name once and say topic number zero is, has this name, topic number one has this name, topic number three is this and so on. And then I only say value for topic number one is that. Okay? So this is, this is how this is working. Yeah? This is what I thought about this. So, to, to, set, to set a topic name or property name, I used a prop name, yeah, because I wrote, I wrote the Vuforia, uh, the ThingWorks thing before and I simply re reused this here. So the command is set prop name, okay, set prop name, set property name, yeah. and property number zero really hit the button. Property number zero. And I will simply use some some name. Yeah. This. Yeah. So this is the property. Oh, this is the topic. Three, the class name, the name, and then I will call it text. Okay, text. Book. Set property name number zero, set to this, okay. Yeah. This I would have expected that this is working. And now I want to, to set 
a value. Huh? So I have to simply call set prop value and then set prop val property number zero. I want to set the value of the zero and I write hello because I don't know anything better. <laughs> hello. Now set property value zero hello. Now is this working? Yeah. Is this thing now really have this thing now really published hello? Well, it seems like it tells. It tells it has done it. Yeah. I've you I'm using here also MQTT client on my computer. It's called MQTT Lens. Yeah. It's working pretty nice. It's an extension of the Google Chrome browser. Yeah. It looks like this. Yeah. Here I also have been already connected to my MQTT broker yeah? and now I want to subscribe. I want to subscribe to exactly this topic. Okay, This topic I want to subscribe, please. Yeah? Subscribe. I subscribe now. Yeah? Right now I do not see anything. Yeah? We'll see if this is changing or not. Yeah? Hello, hello, it appears, yeah, I told, I'm here communicating with this device. This device has published a text, hello, to my MQTT broker, it's also located here, yeah? so it is not really a big distance, however, yeah? via Wi-Fi to my MQTT broker, my MQTT broker was sending this to here and now it has come a second time. Why is that? Huh? Why has this come a second time? Because I have not published anything up to now. This is because this program here, this is repeating the value I told. I can tell how often it shall repeat. So I, I simply, even if the value has not changed up right now, yeah, right now it's the it's set to 30 seconds. You there is a command to, to change this this time, yeah. So there is uh, this command is called a uh, recent time. Yeah, I can write here get recent time recent time and it says 30 so every 30 seconds I shall get here, get here a new topic and you see if you have a look at this yeah, it seems to be really to have this 30 seconds put it here huh? so here it's 28 58 28 30 seconds huh? so I can We'll make this smaller a little bit, yeah, that we can follow it better if I put it here. And I can not only say get recent time, I can also say set recent time. Recent time. And I will set it to 10 seconds. And then I should get every 10 seconds. Yeah, 16. 10 seconds are usually pretty long if we are waiting for it. Yeah? 26. Yeah? Or I simply use it a longer value. Set recent time. And I just want to have it every 2 minutes. 120. Okay? Simply to not overwhelm, overwhelm the MQTT broker with stupid messages because nothing has changed. Yeah? However, from time to time it's good, you know, if it's really long ago that you heard something, is this still valid or not? If you have a fresh value, a relatively fresh value, it's okay. Yeah? So now, this recent time, you don't have to think that this only after 120 seconds this new value is appearing because if I now set this set prop value 
schnell zu hell, sondern yes, 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 yes. Ja. Enter, appearing. Okay? Set the propeller to no, no. Enter, appearing. It's coded in there that if the value is changed, then publish immediately. And if it's not changed, publish every recent time. Okay? So you could ask, what is happening if the value is changing rapidly? So if, I don't know, several times in one second, I push in a new value, new value, new value, new value, new value. Huh? Then I would also clock simply the communication to the, to the MQTT server. Denial of service attack or something like this. Book, 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 book. Yeah? So also here I've implemented a block time. If a value has changed yeah, a certain time with its standard is two seconds. So if it's changed within two seconds, it will simply not be forwarded. Yeah? So this is block time. Yeah? You can write get block time and set block time. And see currently it's set to two seconds. So if the same value is coming shorter, this so shorter than two seconds, yeah, faster than in two seconds, then it will simply not immediately push it out. To simply prevent to the two there's too much communication. Okay, so we have now seen from from this little device. To the MQTT broker, everything works fine. And now I want to subscribe something. Now I want to subscribe a topic. And we also have to give this topic a name. So I will write set subscribe. And also there are 50 possibilities. I'm using subscribe value zero. And I'm going to subscribe to three uh, MB, huh? Peter Shovsky. And, 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 and get it. Huh? This is the topic I want to subscribe. Huh? Book. Set subscribe, okay? I make a typo. Subscribe. Subscribe. You see also unsupported mentioning, hey, unsupported command, you look at this. Yeah? Set subscribe topic three. A H M B A Pitoshovsky, get it. Okay? Nobody's sending now this get it. Huh? So I have subscribed to a topic, there is no, there is nothing. This MQTT lens here, I can also use to publish something. And I'm going to publish this get it. Get it. And you can see here I can even select if it's retained or not, or at least at most once, at least once, exactly once. Yeah, those those uh, quality of service flex. What do I? Have? Get it? Of course. Of course. Yeah. And now I'm publishing it here in MQTT lens and I shall receive it here, displayed on the, on the serial monitor. Okay, publish, book. Of course, receive, are, this is what I get. Yeah? This is the string I get. There is a start sign, yeah? then there is receive, and then there is the topic number, so that I know which topic, this one, yeah? and the content is, of course, I got it, yeah? of course, I got it, publish. Okay? So also, subscribe topics are handed over. That's it. This is how this is working. This little program running here, it's not very sophisticated. It's not, it's really not very sophisticated. For my private use, I've used 
something similar but a little bit more sophisticated, especially the communication interface here. Yeah? That we really see something and so on, that we can read something. This is just for training reason. Usually those communication device, uh, this communication part between an automated system and an other or two controllers is not that readable at this because it would simply be stupid that I tell hey uh, it must not be human readable eh? it's enough to send some codes and this is zeros and ones and it for the machines it's okay I've coded it that way eh? to, to make it possible to operate this also with out knowledge here yeah? because we simply now wrote some comments here to this device and we got information or published something yeah? now we want to make a program here yeah? so now we want to make a program here yeah? which is automatically doing exactly what we have done with this set property value, set, uh, set property name, set property value and uh, subscribe value and so on, pack, 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 pack. Yeah. We want to code something here. So we need to generate all those commands or some of those commands which we just talked about in our program. Yeah. This is not that easy. Yeah. Because, you know, currently you don't know the things, so I also wrote an, uh, a library which we just can use and then we use this device simply by calling yeah, set property name and a function. Okay. And this handling, this communication then is covered. Latest at this point in time we would be able to make this communication more not that consuming. Huh? Yeah, so this is how this is working. Huh? So actually, if some of you do have access to the same MQTT server and do use this program on their ESP, yeah, you could simply chat here. Yeah? You could you could subscribe to a topic which is published by your colleague and the other or you could subscribe to several topics yeah? and then you can really see what is going on, Twitter style. Yeah? Pretty much the same function. Yeah? Yeah. Next time we want to use a program here, which is then publishing data which we measure somehow. Yeah? Then we know how to use analog inputs, we know how to use digital inputs and so on. Yeah? And then, uh, if we have something like MQTT lens on our handy device, on our handy, yeah? mobile phone of course, handy is a false friend, handy is not English. Handy is English but not for a mobile phone. This is German English, yeah? just for information. Yeah? So if you hear ever a German mother tongue People say, can you borrow me your handy? Yeah? It means, can you borrow me your cell phone or your mobile phone? Yeah. There are some words. Beamer is also something. Yeah? In English, it's projector. Yeah? The German-speaking person say Beamer. Yeah? It's like it would be a BMW. Because a Beamer is a BMW. <laughs> Slang. Well, I got drifted off. Next time we're going to use a program here and make it automated. Okay? Maybe we can use also our mobile device, our handheld phone, to switch on and off a LED yeah? by use of MQTT lens or something like this. Should work. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.